If you were school president at Degrassi, what would your official decree be? Ooh. If I was school president, I would first off abandon all uniforms. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's is that what yeah, they call said? Yeah, definitely against the uniform. Wait, wait, but I'm not done. Ali is <laughs> Ali's the fashionista, so I would have to pick everyone's clothes okay. for the school, and then it would be the most like the best dressed school ever. I like it. Yeah. So there was like a part two to that. First off, <laughs> abandoning those horrible, horrible outfits. Um, that I actually asked them to like secretly like tailor mine, so that's a bit like more form fitting and such because like. Big clothes, like I'm just so small that I just look like I'm swimming in them. So that would be number one. Number two, I would like go out on the hunt for like cuter boys. We have some pretty good looking boys, but there's not enough of them. I feel like Allie's just gone through all of them. She's currently dating this one over here. But he's always dancing. So, I mean, it's hard to have a civilized conversation, I'm sure, for Allie and Dave. So I'd go out and get some more boys. And, um,. Number two, I'd get some real food in there because in the cafeteria, when we're actually filming, everything's plastic, so those would be my, my three things. <laughs> Very cool. I bet awesome. you guys now want to go to Degrassi, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. <Those three> things. <laughs> if you could take a prop from the set as a memoir, what would you take? Well, a prop from the set. <laughs> I've got a good one, but it's going to sound creepy. Aislinn and I were talking about this, and we always joke around. Have you guys watched the show from... Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, so in season eight, <laughs> one of our first storylines ever, because Aisla and I are very close. Um, remember that, like, the vibrator stuff? And, oh, like, yeah, we were just talking about that. Did she really? I know it's like, so creepy, but, like, we always talk about how funny it is, and, like, how, I feel like that is, like, an iconic thing that started, first off, our characters, and then second off, I was brand new to the to the city when I first started it, and then Aza and I were just like, this is ridiculous, like, this is so awkward, like, my parents are going to have to watch this, and I'm like, we were like, oh god, I'm like not going to let my grandparents watch this episode, and... And it brought Aislinn and I closer as people, and now we're just like, we've never had, I mean, none of the cast members has ever had problems, but like Aislinn and I have this like cute little bond, and we've always worked together, and like grew up together, and so now I'd be, bring that, you know. That's little, great. Little, little, little <laughs> yeah, and we, and we love the whole Allie-Claire friendship, but it has had some trouble lately. Yes. Are we going to see an end to that, or is there a hope for that friendship to I mean, start up again? the way it's looking in the second half of things is and it's not looking good, you know, like Why? the friendship. If, yeah. if your best friend kissed your boyfriend, how would you feel? Oh, we we understand that. Yeah, you know I mean, like, yeah. I feel like it wouldn't, they, I feel like they handled it in a civilized manner compared to how I would handle it. <laughs> but um, I feel like it's just so sad because as much as Allie always gets herself in these, like, troublesome problems, Claire was always her person that she would go to and be like, slap her on the head and like, what are you doing? You know, to be the voice of reason. And that's why their their friendship was so odd and but kind of balanced out, you know? Right. So it's sad to see that she doesn't have that anymore. Um, but, I mean, how long at Degrassi can you really not, <laughs> you know, be good friends again? We've all hated each other, dated each other, oh, breakups, yeah, yeah. breakups, and then... So hopefully there's some... some we haven't even gotten there, but hopefully, I'm really hoping that Claire and Allie become friends again. Awesome, we're, we're hoping so. too. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the deal with Connor always pushing Allie to the ground? That's what I asked the writers. I'm like, do you guys enjoy watching me fall? Because this is the second time now. And we have to, like, choreograph it with, like, a stunt person, like, all the falls. And I'm like, is it because I can do it that you guys are, you know, just constantly throwing me on the ground? Oh, that's too um, funny. And the first time was what? Because I, like, snapped his pencil or something. I just... He spit on you, didn't he? It got real. Is that normal? Like, you know, I feel like Allie oh should, have pushed, should have pushed him back and they should have had a fight. I feel like I'll pitch that for the new season. Like, if awesome. you're going to plan on... Like, I feel like the third time's a charm, so if he pushes her, like, Allie's just going to have to, like, beat him up like she did to Bianca. Right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> it's been great. I know I can make it through. I know I can make it through.